I felt like a schoolboy cutting classes. They were looking for me all over New York. My lawyers, accountants, my PR men. My father had left me an empire I didn't want. My son would inherit its ruins. Suddenly, my life was becoming clouded with self-doubt, agonizing confusion. Business couldn't have been worse. Yet all I could think of was running away to Paris and Laura. Look, this is hardly a holiday, Peter. I know we're struggling for survival. I know we need cash and plenty of it. That's why I'm making this Paris trip. I've applied to the bank in Geneva for a credit of $8.5 million. Now, that should take some of the heat off it. No bank is going to lend us a penny. Why should they? The personal factor. Daily called the meeting, and uh, Daily owns the banks. What's this about Venice? Not like us. It's sinking. But Daly has some plan that uh, will keep it afloat. About Laura? I, uh... I'll give her your regard, Peter. <laughs> Every time it's like the first one. I'm always so impressed.
What if I had brought home another lover? What would you have done? Killed him. What would you have done if I had gone off with another woman? I would handle it with great delicacy. No sleeping pills, because that would be blackmail. Mm -hmm. No, I would... I would track you down. Just to see you together. And if she was more beautiful, then I would go down to the sea in my bridal gown. And die slowly of the Sicilian Vespers. That sounds like a horrible disease. But I'd fight the cure. Oh, no. I would have terminal Sicilian Vespers. Oh, of course. The doctors will tell you in hushed tones that I'm dying. And you will rush out of that other woman's arms and come to me. Hurling your violin to the floor, <laughs> crushing it underfoot, and melting into hot tears of remorse. And uh, where did I get this violin? Well, at such moments, there must be music. Of course. And uh, a little champagne. Oh, Jason, I feel like a thief. To have so much happiness it must be because we stole somebody else's share. Put it simply, Monsieur Gilvey. One's plumbing grows rusty. Should I call a plumber? Let me explain. Age hardens the prostate, and it puts out less seminal fluids. Without lubrication, the ducts become uh, congested, which might have given you that heavy, deep-seated pain. I was losing on all fronts. Yes, now my body was conspiring against me. Confiding in Laura would have been admitting defeat. I dreaded the thought that her passion might turn to pity. Then there was the future, another lost cause. It had been a week since I had applied for a loan from Jim Daly's Geneva Bank. Last ditch attempt. I was, quite frankly, running out of options. to see you, Jason. How are you? Glorious ride. Too bad you missed it. Too bad indeed. Unfortunately, I had a previous appointment. Hmm. Some uh, familiar faces. Speaking of familiar faces, have you seen Jim Daly around? Ask her. She came with him. Oh, damn, it looks like he's starting in the vicular. You better get the vet. Poor Indian. Clara? Jason. You look positively bourgeois. <laughs> it must be the company you're keeping. <laughs> you can do better than that. Oh, I know. I believe you're here with, um, Jim Daly. Mm. He's my subject matter. Oh. This year's man with the big clout. I'm doing a piece on him, an interview in depth. You know he's just gotten control of the Golden Triangle, thanks to his, uh, Swiss bank. Oh. Tell me, um, where is this man with the big club? <gasps> oh, that man is a maniac!
Want an entry? Bailey hates being upstaged. Almost as much as he hates arrows. That's a magnificent stallion. The horse, yes. Seems to be the only thing he can ride these days. <laughs> Tell me, is that first-hand knowledge, or are we just being slightly bitchy? I told you I was doing an interview in depth. Another grand scheme to save Venice. Tell me, Clara, why is Daly so interested? Who knows? Couldn't give a shit about Venice. Hey, Jason. How you doing? Hello, Jim. You're looking marvelous. Thank you. No need for introductions, huh, Clara? Mm -hmm. uh, we're just admiring your project, Jim. Jace saving Venice is damned important. I may have a big stack of blues for that. Did you see those goddamn Arabs? If you don't let them in the front door, they'd buy the joint and change the locks. Sheiks, you remember. We used to buy them in drugstores, little foil packets, one size fits all. Well, now the sheiks are giving us the shaft. The sons of bitches own half the world and got an option on the rest. Us white folks are outnumbered, Chase. The only thing holding those towel heads back is respect for our brain power. Ha <laughs> ha, now, what happens to that respect when they see this? I still don't understand you. Venice, Jace. Legendary Venice. Green slime from its polluted canals is creeping over its buildings. I mean, someday the whole fucking city is going to slide into the sea. It is the symbol of our decay. It's like asking them to come on in and take over. Did uh, Clara say anything to you about me? She said she was doing an interview. Um, in, in depth was how she put it. Huh? In depth. She didn't say anything personal. Personal, Jim? Oh, of course not. Well, if she does, don't listen to her. She's a radical of some kind. You know those left-wing bitches? Well, they don't make love, they take notes. And if you're not as hard as a rock, you're the lead article in some pinko magazine. Tell me, Jace, how are you making out these days? Now, you are talking about horses, Jim. Ha! <laughs> I'm talking about pussy, man! Pussy! I hear you're getting more than your share of it. Got yourself a Brazilian filly, hot-blooded. You know me longer than that. I never discuss my private life. Listen, I don't care if she swings from a trapeze. I just want to know. Are you still making it? Well, an acrobat she's not. But I'm still making it. Often? Often, Jim. Look at them. They're getting bigger every year. But on nutrition. They develop sooner. No, no. Last week I was making with a model from Denmark. Now, I put it in. <laughs> and it fell out. I thought it was her fault. Some deformity that runs in the family. <laughs> but then, last night I had uh, that one. Short coat. Different girl. Same story, wasn't it? Their fault, it was my fault. It's called a partial erection. And don't tell me it's better than nothing. It isn't. Jim, did you ever try love? <laughs> with what? Because that's what it boils down to. With what? Why are you telling me all this? You owe me, you know, Jay. I do? You applied for a loan at the Geneva Bank. Yes, uh, eight and a half million dollars. You're going to get the money, Jace. Well, the bankers didn't want to give it to you. They think you've had it. So do I. Jim. Jim, why would a Swiss bank loan money to a, a lost cause? Because I told them to. Besides, there's a condition. Yes, I heard that West German electronics wanted to buy you out. 
Well, Steinhardt offered $45 million. Forty? He will offer 45. I'm asking 52. I know. But before you sell to Steinhardt, I want you to come to me. Hello, Peter. Do you still have your friend on the Wall Street Journal? Good, good. Now listen, listen carefully. I got the loan from Daly. Thank you. I want you to leak the news to your friend and tell him Daly's bank is backing your print. And we're starting a new international book club. No, 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 the last part is not true. What the hell difference does that make? This is ass saving time. Do what I tell you, son. Sit deeper in your saddle. That's it. Laura, on a circle around me, collect your horse. More right leg, more outside leg. And you will immediately bring him to the Cavalettis. I want him to be light on the Cavalettis. And don't rush. That's good. That is good. You're making me very, very jealous. What are you doing here? Well, I've heard these wonderful things about this young Brazilian training for the priest and George. And I must say, the rumors do not do her justice. And, if I might say, that you don't look as beautiful. You're right. <laughs> I was excited, excited by the very thing that threatened me. For an instant, though I was facing death, I could feel a sudden sense of life.
I didn't sleep very well last night. You know, my father... Laura, my father took 54 years to build up his empire, and it's taken me 22 years to lose it. Everything, everything's just falling apart. Giving up family territory is like admitting defeat. What about me? Am I part of your territory? You're the only thing in my life that has not been handed down to me. I feel I've earned you. I mean, don't misunderstand that. What I mean is, you're my only real success. God knows you're my only future. my fault. I'm clumsy. I'm awkward. No. I shouldn't have tried. All that... All that writing and everything. No, I think it was my stupid boots. I'm sorry, Jason. It took forever to pull them off. What are you staring at? You can't have forgotten this. <laughs> 